I don't know how much you know about me, but I have had a lifelong obsession with Abraham Lincoln. Since I was a kid, true story, I've read everything I can about Lincoln. And of course, Illinois is the land of Lincoln. Lincoln spent... Lincoln spent most of his adult life in Springfield, Illinois. So a few days ago, I flew to Springfield to visit several of the Lincoln sites around town. We brought a camera along. Here's what happened. Hey, this is exciting. We're at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum. It's in Springfield, Illinois. They've got everything here. They've got right behind me a life-size recreation of Abraham Lincoln and his family, his wife and his kids, and behind them, hanging around in broad daylight, John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Just looking like a creep. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't catch him. He's, he's right there. I'm here now in the gift shop of the Lincoln Presidential Museum. They've got some good stuff. There's this t-shirt, which depicts cool, laid-back Lincoln. There's also Nerd Lincoln, the Emancipation Proclamation shot glass, one of the greatest pieces of legislation in mankind's history, and you can drink tequila out of it. If any hat's gonna get you laid, it's the I Heart History. Picture it shows Lincoln on acid. This is Lincoln just after he went to a concert, a really rad concert, and then looked into the mirror. This is what he saw. Lincoln's last night. I think it's a porno. I've actually seen a little bit of this. It's pretty incredible. It's very dirty. <laughs> Same last night. Well, we finally found it. The least convincing fake beard ever made. Look at that. It's also, this was used, this was used by John Travolta. When was on <laughs> I'm standing in front of the old state house where Lincoln used to go and uh, stand in line at the DMV to try and get his license renewed. No visit to Springfield, Illinois is complete without meeting with not just one, but multiple Lincolns. Mr. President? How do you do? Mr. President? Thank you. Mr. President? And Mr. President. Now, am I correct, you also, in your spare time, played Lyndon Johnson? No, sir. <laughs> Maybe you had me wrong. Thank You're a lawyer, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Okay. That's the one question that irritates me the most is, where's your beard? And then you get mad. I'm lawyer, Lincoln. That's I'm right. sick of talking about this. Pick him up, throw him Mommy, over why is he <laughs> I said, take that kid away, I'm a lawyer, Lincoln. Do you ever feel the urge to change into your Lincoln outfit just like a superhero? Like you see something going on and you have your Lincoln costume in your trunk and you just want to put it on and go, now hold on, fellers. I was tempted one time riding a bus uh, to a performance in Iowa and there was a little altercation between two passengers. One gentleman claimed that the other one had used a racial slur. Fortunately, the bus driver pulled the bus over and told them both they didn't behave themselves. She was going to throw them off the bus. So wait, you're Lincoln on a bus. You see a racial dispute, and you did nothing. And you let it she got to it before, before I had a chance. I'm sorry. That's just, <laughs> she got that's a bad a story, chance. Abe. That's a bad story. Well, I don't like to get involved. I was one of These them. things tend to work themselves out. Can't some woman take care of this? I'd like to now introduce you to Mary Todd Lincoln. Mary, would you come in here, please? Nice to see you. How are you? Now, Mary, there are four bachelors here. And, uh... Well, I always dreamed of marrying the president. That was always the goal of mine. Oh, yes. are you in character now, or are you being yourself? I'm scared. <laughs> it's Mary Lincoln. Okay. Well, now it's Lincoln. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you can't see right now, but I'm pushing a panic button with my foot. And the police are coming. Steven Spielberg is making a new movie. It's going to be, uh, it's, it's highly anticipated about Abraham Lincoln. He's chosen Daniel Day Lewis to play Lincoln. You were just hearing the news for the first time and seem enraged. You seem I'm, very unhappy. I'm okay with it, but I just wish it would have been me. How come Daniel Day Lewis just gets to walk in? I know Steven Spielberg. And when I say know him, I know where he lives and I can get over that wall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to look into camera and, and make your plea to Steven Spielberg? Mr. Spielberg, check out my website. 
Lance presents a... Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> my website? <laughs> Four score and seven years ago, my website went down for 26 hours. Now, gentlemen, I did take the liberty of bringing my own Mary Todd Lincoln impersonator here. Mary, would you step in here, please? <laughs> Mary? Gentlemen, what do you think of my Mary Todd Lincoln? You're portraying Mary Lincoln when she was on Maxim magazine? Oh, correct? yeah. I remember that Yeah, time. totally on Maxim. Okay, you. He's a little under breath from here to here. Okay, now hands off there. <laughs> hands off, dear Miss Lincoln. Man. Oh, look at this guy here. This guy's got his creepy peeper glasses on. <laughs> hey, hey, take, those are fogging up. So is that what Abe would do when he would see... <laughs> Mary dressed like this. Well, whoo! 